Hi there! Today we're going to be talking about how to install the Balena CLI on Windows 10. The first thing that you're going to need is an account for the Balena platform, which I already have, so I'm just going to log in. The next step is just to download the Balena CLI standalone version. So let's just go to the Balena CLI GitHub project page and then slide down all the way until standalone install and then here you can see the Balena CLI releases. Let's just click on this link. Now we can download the Balena CLI standalone version for Windows. Once the file is downloaded, let's open it and copy this Balena CLI folder to the root folder of the disk that we're going to use. So I'm just going to click copy, then let's go to the, for example, the local disk and paste here. Now that we have the Balena CLI on our computer, it's time to configure it as a environment variable so that we just need to type Balena on the terminal to use it. Just start by typing env in edit the system environment variables. Click on environment variables and then on the system variables you're gonna see path. Click in edit. On the bottom of this list we can add where we install Balena CLI which is C Balena CLI. Click OK and that's gonna be all you need to do to have that up and running. Now let's open the terminal, cmd, the command prompt, and all you need to do to log into Balena is type Balena login, which then we can log into the Balena dashboard. As I am already logged into Balena on Chrome, I can just use the Balena web authorization. So I'm just gonna press enter. This is gonna redirect me to the Balena dashboard where I just need to click authorize. Perfect, this is done. So now we can go back to the dashboard and then go back to the terminal and wait a few seconds and then you'll be able to see that you are logged in. This means that your account is connected to the CLI. Let's move on to the next step. Now that we have Balena CLI installed in our computer, let's go ahead and push a project live. Let's see here. I have a test application created. It is running on a Raspberry Pi 2 and the device is already online. What I want to do here is push the project with the simple server Python, which is just a simple Python project that we can use for this example. I'm going to go clone or download. In my case, I'm just going to download the zip file for the project. I'm just going to create a folder called projects that I'm going to be using for all my projects. All right, let's just put the simple server Python in there. And now from the terminal, we have to go to the same folder. Let's go projects and then simple server Python master. We can see here we have the Docker file. So how do we actually upload this source code into the Raspberry Pi that we have connected to the Balena cloud? Using the Balena CLI. So all you need to do is type Balena push and the name of the application. In our case, it's called test application. So I'm just gonna type test application and type enter. That's when our container is going to be built and pushed to the device. So we can just follow from here. Once you see the magic unicorn, that's a good sign. We can go back to the dashboard and see the process of the container being downloaded to the device. As you can see here, it's downloading. So let's just wait a couple seconds until it's done. Now that our container is up and running, we can test it by clicking public device URL. And here, voila, we have hello world. That means everything is working. So in this video, I showed you how to install the Balena CLI and upload a project on Windows. I hope this was useful and see you next time. Bye.